Hello everyone and thank you for joining my channel once again. Um, I want to thank all of the new subscribers Thank and thank all of my current subscribers um, all together, old and new. I am so sorry that it's taken me this long to upload. Um, I am gearing up to medically retire from the military so um, I've got that going on and some other stuff uh, in my life which is, you know, what it is, but I apologize for such a big break in uploading videos. Um, I'm not ready yet to put a time frame on when I'll be able to uh, upload the next one, but hopefully when I'm fully, you know, settled in my new uh, life, um, I will try and make it where I can start uploading daily because I will have the uh, opportunity to do so. Um, so with that being said, I wanted to jump on here and talk about uh, gaslighting really quick. Um, so when I first met uh, the ex and arc, we were, I don't think we were dating for more than a week but um, he wanted to uh, go play tennis and, you know, it was a fun pastime that we had started up and it was our uh, very first time playing each other in tennis and it wasn't, you know, anything competitive. It was just a fun thing to do, um, at least on my part. We all know that narcissists are extremely competitive and that's saying it nicely. So, um you know, the little bit that we played, I end up went. I ended up winning, which you know was cool. It was like, okay, cool. I'm not, you know, I'm not one to rub it in your face and whatever. And uh, it seems like it might be something small, but this was a prelude of, or just a taste of what was to come. Um, he didn't like that so much that I beat him, so he in turn said that he won. And, you know, made it very apparent that, you know, he won and I lost. He was basically throwing everything out there to point and deflect and say that I lost and he won when I clearly won hands down. So the first time he said that or tried to throw it out there, I laughed it off and I was just like, you know, I won. Stop it. And uh, he continued to push the fact that he won the freaking tennis game. I mean, it wasn't even like it was professionally played, but um, he pushed the fact so much that it started to piss me off. And, you know, with us newly dating, I guess he figured, let me see how, how um, much I can, you know, gaslight her up to the point where... Um, you know, she loses it or let's see how much she can take. And so, um, I really got so, I just got, I was pissed because he pushed and pushed and pushed and it honestly wasn't a big deal to me, but it was the fact that he tried to, you know, make this something that it wasn't. And he was very serious about it. So um, eventually I was just like, you know what, dude, like I've had enough, you know, like, I don't know who you think you are, but you know, I don't like what you're dishing out. And, um, I proceeded, we were on base at the time and I proceeded to go get some dinner from the chow hall. And, um, you know, he saw me, you know, just basically walking away from him, like, you know, screw you. I ain't got time for your mess. And uh, I was going about my business. I was about to head to my dorm room and just be like, this dude's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Um, he eventually, you know, saw that I was in abandonment mode very quickly. I was just like, I'm done. So then that caused him to say, okay, I'm sorry, you won. And Narcissists are not big on apologizing. If they do apologize, it's because they, you know, get they are getting something out of it. So it's it they don't like to be abandoned. So since I was in abandonment mode and just, you know, ready to kick him to the curb, so soon um in our uh 
relationship, which I, I should have continued to run for the hills, but anyways, uh, they don't like that. So if it comes down to it and it's to, you know, save face or for them to get something out of it, they will apologize. It'll be a fake apology, but they'll apologize and uh, they'll even cry if they have to. Um, if you continue to let them know, hey, I'm done with you. And that's why no contact is so very important because, I mean, that's for another video. But narcissists, they love to mess with your mind. Um, if you find that early on in a relationship, uh, whether you're dating, whatever, just walk away and keep keep it pushing shut everything down shut that person down i mean it's one thing to just be playful about it but when you see someone that's really trying to drive it home and when they're driving as hard as a narcissistic person does it they're trying to mess with your mind and that's a dangerous thing you don't want anyone to alter in any way shape or form how you know you you know your normal functioning brain and, you know, with something like that constantly happening in a narcissistic, uh, abusive relationship, you're going to find yourself beside yourself, literally. So I just want to jump on here and say that really quick. And, um, I appreciate every single one of you and I will talk to you all soon.